Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Code Igniter Framework Beginner Tutorial, and this is our part number 34. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about Capture Helper and Code Igniter. And also guys, if you are a beginner to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Code Igniter Framework Tutorial. So basically guys, so far we had discussed in helper section about URL helper, array helper and the string helper. Now we are going to see about the captcha helper inside this video session. So before starting about captcha helper, we need to know about something, let's say about what basically captcha helper is or what is helper or what is captcha. So about captcha helper, captcha is randomly generated string incorporated in an image file which is displayed to the user. Basically as we know that the captcha is randomly generated string which is in the form of an image basically appears or displayed to the user. A captcha which means complete automated public turning test to tell computer and human apart is a type of challenge test to identify whether the user is human or not. Basically, we use Captcha Helper to our website to detect the entered number or the entered the dynamically randomly generated string value by a human or by a robot. Captcha basically mostly used in the web application to protect the website from getting spam. A captcha is very important in the web from any input is given by the user or any action is processed based on the user's response. In many cases, actually we use captcha helper inside our login form. Bypassing email address and the password, we also take a randomly generated string value to an input type text box. And by getting this value, we actually compare that value with our captcha and proceed on the behalf of the user's input. So this is all about our CAPTCHA definition. So question is that how can we implement CAPTCHA helper in our coordinator application? Before implementing CAPTCHA helper to our coordinator application, we need to actually enable some extensions of PHP. So if I back to next tab, so installing GT support that is PHP extension. This is the command which basically we have to run to install the GT support or to enable the GT support to our server. So just copy and paste this command and run to your terminal to install our GD support. This is all about the PHP version. Let's say that you have PHP version something called 7. So you need to install something called PHP 7 hyphen ZD. Actually my system supports 7.2.2. So that's why I have written PHP 7.2 hyphen ZD. After installing GD support, next we have to restart our server to make changes what we have done in our step 1. So here we have to restart that. Now after restarting, how can we check that we have successfully installed our GD support or not? So if I copy this command, go to our terminal and if I paste this command to terminal and press enter, now these are the lines actually basically indicates that our GD support has been enabled. If I back to slides, now these are the steps to install our GD support. Now next, how can we integrate CAPTCHA helper in Code Igniter after doing all these things what we have seen inside this slide. So at the first step, firstly we have to load the helper. So if I back to Code Editor, now let's say that this is our controller so far we have made to load our helpers. So now if I scroll down. And let's say that if I make a function or a method, something called public function and something let's say learn captcha. Now this is the method actually I'm going to call inside this route. So copy and paste and this is our route. Now if I save this file back to our controller. Now inside this controller, firstly to implement about the captcha in our application, firstly we have to load that helper. So if either we can load at the construct point means right here something called captcha or simply if we get rid of all this declaration from here we can just declare inside this method also. So let's say that I'm going to load the helper inside this method. So let's say this load helper and the helper name something called captcha. This is all about captcha. So firstly we done that. 
After loading Capture Helper, we need to actually make some configuration to our Capture Helper like font size, like base URL, something called image size and many more settings we have to do to load our helper, sorry, to load our capture inside any web page. So if I back to slide, now inside this capture configuration, basically these are the parameters actually we need to pass to make our capture images, like image path, image URL, font path, image width and so on up to font size. By, my, by making about configurations, we need to pass these configurations inside a function something called create capture. This is the method basically provided by our capture helper. Now about the first parameter image path. Firstly, we have to make a folder. Inside that folder, basically we are going to save our capture images. So if I back to folder structure, now inside our project setup at the root, if I make a folder and folder something say capture underscore images. Before moving next, actually I have to give permission to this generated folder. So back to our terminal and let's see that chmod minus r triple seven and this is our folder path. So successfully I have given permission to this folder to store all the capture images. Now we have done about the first parameter. In the second parameter, it says about the image URL. It means that when we generate about the capture images, it will store inside this folder. And by getting this folder, actually we concatenate with base URL and we can open our capture images at the URL by passing this URL. In the next parameter, we have used called font path. It means that the random generated string has some characters and that characters basically use the font something stored inside the system folder. So if I back to folder structure, go to system, go to fonts and this is the path basically used or this is the font family group basically used by the capture helper to randomly generated strings values. So if I back to slides, next we have something called image width, image height, word length and the font size and finally we have to pass this configuration inside this function. Let's go ahead and use this configuration to generate our captcha images. So if I copy this config back to our code editor, now inside this method I'm going to pass right here. So this is our simple configuration. This is the folder that we have created and inside that folder we are going to save the images by getting this configurations like image width, image height, word length and the font size. And finally, let's say that capture and we have to use a function for that. So create capture and inside this create cap capture function, I'm going to pass this configuration. So successfully we have created our capture. But remember, we need to show about the capture images at our view file. So how can we show that? So if I back to application and inside our views folder, I'm going to create a file. So let's say that so underscore capture dot PHP. Inside this file, I'm going to show the generated image. If I back to controller and let's say that something called little array, we are going to make an array and let's say that cap underscore image it means capture image and this image has been generated inside this capture variable because we have stored all the property of capture inside this variable now inside that we have a property of image something called image now successfully we have stored this image inside this cap underscore image variable now next we have to load our view so this load view and inside this view, the first parameter I'm going to pass something called so captcha. This is the view file name. And the second parameter I'm going to pass this data array. So copy that, pasting it here. Now we can access this variable as a variable inside our view file. So if I copy that back to our view file, and let's say that if I write PHP tag here, let's echo and this is our cap underscore image and also let's say that within h3 tag or h4 tag let's say capture underscore or capture image 
So if I save this file, what basically we have done so far? We have loaded our capture helper library, we have made some configuration, passed inside create capture function and successfully accessed about the capture image inside this variable and successfully we have passed inside this view file. Now next I am going to open this routes inside the browser. So back to routes.php file, copy this route name, back to browser and let's say that index.php and this is the route name. So if I press enter, as we have capture image as h4 tag and this is the image we have generated. Inside this randomly generated image, we have some characters, we have some word length, we have some background, also we have some image width and the height. All the properties basically we have set inside this configuration as we can observe that. So back to folder structure. Now remember, we have stored all the generated images inside this CAPTCHA images folder. So if I go inside this folder, now this is the image we have generated. Again if I back to browser, reload this page, now the CAPTCHA has been generated randomly on the page refresh. Back to folder structure, all the images has been stored inside this CAPTCHA underscore images folder. Again if I back to browser, reload this page. Go to folder structure, all these images has been generated. So don't worry about the size of this CAPTCHA underscore images folder because Code Igniter takes care of this folder. It automatically deletes all the images after a certain time period. That certain time period actually we can define inside our config and something inside this config.php file. So back to our editor. Now if I change about the image width, let's say that 263 and also image width something called 150. If I save that back to browser, load this page and now this is all about the image size and the image width. Also we can increase the font size. So back here, let's say that I want something called font size about 22. So if I save that back to browser, reload this page. Now font size has also been increased. So this is all about guys how can we generate CAPTCHA image in application. In the next video we will see that how can we use this CAPTCHA image in the login form. Not really with this login form at this moment, we will see with a form. It means that we are going to make an input box right here. We are going to input all these characters inside this CAPTCHA inside that input box and we will validate that entered character is right or same as this image or not. If it is not, then we will validate about the CAPTCHA validation. So if I back to slides, so successfully guys we have seen about integration of CAPTCHA in our application. Now in the next video we will validate about the inputs or the characters has been generated inside this image. So inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching. Have a great day.